Hi. Well, what we got here is an FSL, which is a fairly close copy of the old uh, FN FAL. Chambered in 308. Same basic configuration as an FAL. That this one was made with a uh, British parts kit with a new receiver and barrel uh, made in Argentina. And these came out right around the time of the 94 uh, semi auto ban. Let me get all these markings show up here. And I'll get the camera put on the tripod and we'll get a few shots with this thing on camera. Okay, she's all loaded up and we'll give her a few shots on camera here. And she's done. And she's a smoking, getting pretty hot. Well, here's the group on it, uh, shooting just a touch low. These here, out here, are from a separate group, but uh, right in here is what we got. Not too bad. You know, these rifles are uh, reasonably close in design to the old FN FAL. This one here uh, began its life as uh, one of the British L1A1 uh, variants and it was broken down as, as a parts kit and then rebuilt with a new uh, Argentine receiver and barrel. Get these markings to show up here. And these were uh, the all the parts were imported into the U.S. Uh, back in the 90s, and then of course they were uh, built into rifles and sold. Here's your safety here. Up is safe. Down is fire. This is your bolt hold open here, and of course the magazine release is here. Carry handle folds up and down. And while maybe they're not as pretty as the original left ends, they are a good shooting rifle. And of course like all the of uh, this uh, type of rifle. Your uh, bolt handle is on the uh, left hand side. And this particular one takes metric magazines because of the Argentine uh, style receiver. 
uh, I believe the British ones took inch pattern uh, magazines. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a close-up look at it before I started uh, in on cleaning it. And I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's for Benny Big Gun. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. If you get a little free time, go check it out. Thanks for watching.